Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte, I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is January Patch Day. As I'm sure you know by now, the second Tuesday of the month is both Microsoft and Adobe's monthly patch day. So let's go ahead and cover those releases. Starting with Microsoft, they released nine security bulletins fixing a number of vulnerabilities in many of their products, including both their browsers, Internet Explorer and Edge, many versions of Windows, Microsoft Office, Silverlight, and some additional shared components like JScript and VB script. They rate six of these bulletins as critical and the rest as important. I'm not going to go into the individual vulnerabilities, but know the bulletins fix seven remote code execution vulnerabilities, which allow a remote attacker to basically gain control of your computer. In these cases, it's usually by enticing you to a malicious website or getting you to interact with some sort of office document. So if you're a Microsoft user, you're definitely going to want to patch all these vulnerabilities. I recommend starting with the critical ones like normal. As far as Adobe, they only released one bulletin for Adobe Acrobat and Reader, and these of course are their products that parse uh, PDF documents. Now this update fixes 17 vulnerabilities in these products, and they rate it with a priority of 2, which means you should patch within 30 days. Uh, I won't go into all the details of these vulnerabilities either, but some of them allow attackers to execute code on your computer if you actually open a malicious document. Long story short, if you use Adobe Reader or Acrobat or any of the affected Microsoft products, go get the patches. And by the way, both of these companies have automatic update mechanisms. For normal client desktops, just your normal user computers, I highly recommend you turn on automatic updates. The security benefits probably outweigh any risk of a bad patch breaking a client computer. On the flip side, you might not want to be as aggressive with your production servers. I highly recommend you test patches before pushing them to production servers because in that case you don't want a bad patch to knock out your email or web server or whatever. One last aside, do know that WatchGuard's IPS partner Trend Micro is part of Microsoft's Active Partner Protection Program. That essentially means they actually give us information about these updates before patch day so that we can release signatures to help protect our customers. Now in general it takes a little extra time for us to test new IPS signatures but if you're a WatchGuard IPS customer you should have a signature update soon that can help protect you from some of the vulnerabilities for today's patch day. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.